Hi, it's Alaska Granny. The pandemic is surging on with the Omicron, and we read mixed messages in the media. Omicron surge is unlike anything we've ever seen. Omicron is spreading at lightning speed. Scientists are trying to figure out why. We read news from China. People can no longer leave their homes to buy groceries. Previously, residents were allowed to buy food once every two days. The city is sealed off. People cannot leave without special permission. They have 155 new transmitted cases for a total of 1,000, and they have locked down millions of people. Yet in the United States, the CDC is loosening the restrictions, stating that the change is motivated by economic and societal concerns. With a really large anticipated number of cases from Omicron, we want to make sure to keep critical functions of society open and operating. The vast majority of transmissions happen in the first couple of days after the onset. However, 20 to 40 percent of people are still going to be able to transmit COVID after five days. Is that person leaving isolation after five days safe to carpool with or have close contact with or have them take care of your unvaccinated kids or any of your kids? The CDC's new guidelines to drop isolation of positives to five days without a negative test is reckless, state some epidemiologists. I don't want to sit next to someone who turned positive five days ago and hasn't tested negative. The guidance doesn't require a negative test to leave isolation or quarantine. It says to test if possible. People are lining up to get tests and rapid tests are out of stock. Yet the CDC defends the new COVID-19 recommendations saying we're trusting people to get the test to begin with. We're trusting them to stay home and to isolate for the first five days. We're trusting them to protect one another and wear a mask in those last five days. We're trusting them to include their symptoms as part of that calculus. (laughs) As a society, we need to trust people to follow the components of this guideline. I don't know who to trust anymore. Is it serious? Is it not serious? Should you stay home? Should you not stay home? Why are other countries locking their people down while the United States is telling people, get back to work? What is the real message? Leave a comment below on what you think should be our real concern with the mixed messages we're getting. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.